Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new on this channel, welcome. On this channel, we have fun. Talking about fun, guys, we are going to have a live session this coming Saturday, yeah. I am so excited and I know you are too. And guess what guys, remember the poll I put out? Y'all said that you would like a live tutorial on a flyer. So guess what? We are going to do just that. So I want you guys to save all of your questions and also tell a friend to tell a friend. Y'all should mark your calendar. Come and let's have some fun. So for today, I'm going to show you how you can get over 1000 plus free font. Yes. And it's all free. So the first place that I want to take you to is adobe.com where you can get free font that you can upload onto your computer from their website. Let's head over to the website and I will show you how to download the font. When you get on Adobe, so once you get on adobe.com, first of all, you need to log in to your subscription. I'm already signed in. If you don't have an account, then you will not be able to download on Adobe's website. But the second option is something that you can do. So let me first start with the free version on adobe.com. So once you log in into your subscription, you want to click on the search and you want to type in font. Once you do a search for font, you want to go to the app and just click on Adobe font website. And then on the apps, you want to click on font. So once you click on font, now Photoshop will take you to another screen where you can see all of the different font and you can see it tells you welcome to Adobe font. So you want to click on OK to accept it. The other thing that you need to do is you need to download the Adobe Cloud so that you will be able to basically transfer your font directly onto your computer. So once you download the Adobe Cloud, it will connect it to your computer. So if you come down to your icons, you notice that the Adobe icon shows up right here. And that is an indication that you have downloaded it onto your computer. So once you are in the Adobe font options, now you have plethora of fonts that you can choose from. And with just one click, it will download onto your Adobe Photoshop. So let's say I want to choose this one. You want to click on view family. The only thing you need to do is that you need to just click on activate font and Photoshop will download it directly onto your computer once you click OK. If you don't want this prompt to show over and over again, you just have to click on don't show this again. Notice that on this little screen, it says that license simplified. So with Adobe Photoshop, you don't have to worry about installation, licensing, or limits. All, person all personnel and commercial use is covered. So you wouldn't have an issue if you want to use it for a commercial you know, project. Fonts you can activate can be found in the font menu in all of your favorite desktop apps. So you are good to go. And then the last thing is remember to have the cloud, the creative cloud desktop application running and that you are signed in so your font will get to you. So just like I said previously, if you don't have the creative cloud, you need to download it. So once you click OK and Photoshop will just link this to your uh, Photoshop on your desktop. If I want to add this, I can just click this and automatically it's added. If you want to see all the different options of the font, we can go back here. Now, this is the default font options. If you want the 
font in Japanese, that option is also available to those that need font in Japanese. So I'm going to click on the default. The other thing that you should also take note of is that you can basically download font packs. So you don't have to click on individual fonts. You can download a whole family of fonts with just one click. And with this font pack, there is only one exception. So let's say I like this font. I'm going to click on view pack. And with one click, you can download everything. But the only downside of this is that when you download this file, it will only be active on your Photoshop for 180 days. And after that, it will expire. If you want to keep it on permanently, then you basically have to go the other route and install it individually. So I'm going to go back to click on one that I have not installed. So you see what I mean by that. So let's click on this skate font. And I'm going to come down here. I want to install this. So with one click, I can do that. But notice the little note. It says activate for 180 days. So after 180 days, this font expires. So it means that you have to come back here and reinstall. So if you want a font for just a temporary use, then this is a good way to just add, you know, a whole bunch of font. And then, you know, after 180 days, that all drops off your font list in Photoshop. So guys, this is basically how you can quickly add font if you have Photoshop subscription. Now, I want to show you guys another alternative. If you don't have Photoshop Adobe, you can still have free font. And you basically can go to what we call the March Seek font. There is a note for the author. It says that this is free for non-commercial purposes. So anybody that is using it for their own personal you know, gain can use it for free. But if you want to use it for commercial use, then you basically have to purchase the full version, which means you have to pay to use it. That is the difference between this one and the Adobe. Adobe is all free. You can see that there are a plethora of um, fonts that you can use. You can click and then begin to see all the different options. And all you need to do, if you like a font, you basically go to download, you click on download and it will download into your download folder. You can double click on that folder. And all you need to do is double click on the file and another window pops up for you. You basically click on install and that font is directly installed into your Photoshop. So I'm going to go into Photoshop and we are going to test to see if we can find the Mabo Team Demo Open Type font. Okay, so we're going to go back into Photoshop and I'm just going to type over this. So I'm going to pick my type text tool and you want to make sure you choose horizontal or whatever you want. And I'm going to go look for this file. So that's it right there. And I'm just going to type in happy because she looks happy because everybody's getting what? Over a thousand free fonts. So guys, once you download, you see that the font shows up right here in your Photoshop and it's just so cool. So that is basically what I wanted to share with you guys. So in case you have Photoshop subscription, you have the over a thousand free fonts that you can use both personal and commercial. But if you don't have the access to Photoshop subscription, then you can use the alternative that I provided. But you have to know that it's free for personal. But when it comes to commercial, you basically have to pay for that. So guys, this brings us to the end of this lesson. Please like and comment. Also subscribe if you're new to this channel. 
And I can't wait to see all of you on Saturday where we get to have fun designing. Do you want to know what we're going to design? We are going to, uh, I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to give that up. You know, I want to leave you guys in suspense so that, you know, you get the wow surprise factor. So till next time, guys, please take care of yourselves and have fun creating. Bye for now.